Uber Connect is a really weird but unique idea Uber is now experimenting with. So what is it? As it says on Uber's site, Uber Connect is an option that allows you to request a driver to transport your packages to a person waiting at a designated drop-off location. You can also request a package to be sent to you from a designated sender. So in a unique kind of way, it reminds me a lot of Uber Eats or being a food delivery driver, except it's just a package. You get the request, you go to that person's place, you get the item, put it in your car, you drive that item to a designated drop-off location, and that's it. I'm really curious to see how this plays out for a couple different reasons, because in a way, it's pretty much the exact same thing as being a delivery driver. That's always a huge debate, a huge like tomato-tomato situation. I know some people love doing ride sharing, hate delivery driving, and vice versa. So this is a great option if you don't want to be a ride share driver just to be able to get more work. And hey, maybe it's going to be better or worse than being a delivery driver. Honestly, I don't know. If anything, maybe it will be better. Like your car is not going to smell from all this food being in it. You don't have to worry about the food being cold. Obviously, you need to be safe when it comes to delivering the packages, especially if it's fragile. But I feel like if anything, this might be a lot better than being a food delivery driver, especially, you know, having to pull up to that restaurant, you put your car in hazards, you run in, you try to talk to the main person up front where the Uber Eats orders are or the Postmates orders, you make sure you grab the right one. There's a lot of hassle with being a food delivery driver. So this might be a lot better than that. What I do think is interesting though, is a couple different things. So first off, I was out here in Denver, and as you can see, it was $5 cheaper to do Uber Connect for the same ride. And part of me thought, and this is like a quick sign up, but part of me thought like, okay, what would happen if I just ordered Uber Connect, but I was the package? Could I just say to them like, hey, yeah, it was $5 cheaper and I'm the item you need to deliver to the destination. That is one thing I'm curious about because if I saw that, if it was cheaper to take an Uber Connect or do an Uber Connect, what stops people from ordering Uber Connect? and just saying that they are the packages themselves. Obviously, that's just like a weird loophole. I don't know if that's gonna be something that's gonna be exploited in the future, but I do think it's interesting. The big one though, the, the second big thing that's really, really unique to me that stands out a lot is this. Now, as you can see, this is my kind of referral section on the Uber driver app. This is something where you can refer friends to drive for Uber. You get a kickback if they reach a certain milestone or they do a certain amount of rides or whatever. And typically, you just have the option for Uber. You know, if someone wants to sign up and drive for Uber. Now, though, they have that second option. And I'm curious to see, is this something Uber is starting to explore now as almost becoming like an on-demand FedEx? If you need something delivered right then and there, but you don't have your car, or let's say just logistically it's too tricky, you just say, hey, I'll order an Uber Connect, throw this stuff in this car, they'll drop it off for me, no big deal. In some ways, I feel like this is kind of an odd idea, but in other ways, I'm like, maybe this is like a huge market that a lot of people don't think about of having on-demand deliveries. I mean, as we all know, things like Amazon Prime and other delivery services are super popular now. I mean, there's even some stuff on Amazon I've seen, like Amazon Fresh or whatever, or Amazon... I can't remember what it's called, but I mean, I think it's Amazon Fresh that you can get a delivery within like two hours and not just groceries, but other items as well. I think Uber with all the things they're doing now, I mean, this is like the sixth or seventh video I've made in the past like month or two about all these new Uber features. Maybe this is another arena Uber's trying to get into. I mean, they're trying to do a lot right now, whether it's with party buses, whether it's booking concert tickets, even hotels now with Uber Explore. They even have now Uber parking if you want to rent a parking spot. So the big thing when it comes to the app is just being on demand for anything. And when it comes to Uber Connect, I'm very interested because the fact that Uber's really looking at finding people to do it and doing referrals and everything, it is tough to say, but I do believe that anytime a company like Uber says, hey, we're gonna really try to get referrals for this one particular niche feature we have, that means they have a lot of marketing and a lot of R&D behind it that's showing that, hey, maybe this is the next big thing that Uber's approaching. Let me know what you think in the comments. And for all the drivers out there, have you done an Uber Connect ride yet? Have you done a delivery ride, not delivery driving, but Uber Connect package delivery service? What was it like?